few years ago, I purchased this old Optiplex 9020. It was made in 2013, and I purchased it in 2019 for roughly around $100. I'm still using it. I upgraded it to Windows 10, and it's perfectly fine. I use it for work sometimes, and I also use it for everyday office use, like paying the bills or watching YouTube. So my question is, should I upgrade my desktop? It's, it's a desktop that's already about nine years, hitting on 10 years. Is it worth it to upgrade or do I even need to upgrade? So again, I bought this on eBay. It cost me $75.99 plus shipping. I bought it as a package. I also bought an old iMac. Um, so shipping, it's half it and it's about $90. Then I purchased RAM for another 20. So it's around $100, $110 for the desktop in 2000. Uh, 19. I used it for three years, and so should I get rid of it? So I made a little text doc to talk about some of the topics of whether or not I should up upgrade. The biggest thing for me now is there's Windows 11, right? So why don't I just upgrade the operating system? Because it seems like Windows 11 will run on most anything. And I can go over here and show you the system requirements. It seems like it can run on anything. It says all you need is a 1 gigahertz processor that's 64-bit compatible. Uh, but it has to be a compatible 64-bit processor. So I wish they would update this to say that uh, you need an 8th eighth, eighth generation Intel processor. So Because once you click on it, it'll mention what processors you need. And it's essentially an 8th gen generation Intel processor, or you get AMD processor, and that's a little more complicated, so I won't go there. I probably, I probably should try AMD anyways, but um, it's a little, I'm not an expert on that, so I usually stick with Intel. The other requirement is you need a TPM 2.0, Trusted Platform Module, so that's usually some hardware thing for encryption, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, regardless, because of those two things, I can't upgrade to Windows 11 technically. Uh, uh, unofficially, I can do it. Uh, proof of concept, other people have done it. And uh, it's just a registry uh, update that requires disabling these two checks. But uh, that's besides the point. So I can't upgrade to Windows 11. The next thing is, I'm running Windows 10. How long will Windows 10 be supported? So I Googled that somewhere around here. It says around October 14, 2025. It's 2022 right now. So it means I can use the desktop technically for another three years. So I've already used it for three years and I can use it for another three years. So should I? And that goes to the next question. Is my computer fast enough in 2022 to still run all the applications I still use right now? Um, again, they came back to Windows 11. But realistically, uh, like I wanted to upgrade because I wanted to have a modern operating system. But if I continue using Windows 10 and I consider speed... My desktop still runs perfectly fine. And I can do video editing and edit pictures and do office work just fine. I pay my bills. I watch videos through YouTube. So, like, I'm making this video using OBS Studio. I use Windows Movie Maker. I use Handbrake to, you know, compress video or whatever or convert video to different formats. I use MS Office. So everything still works and it runs perfectly fine. I actually have used my desktop for work purposes too, but I don't do it anymore because of, uh, you know, like security protocol and what whatnot. So, but, you know, it's 2022 and I'm running a nine-year-old desktop made in 2019, this Optiplex, Optiplex 9020. So the question was, should I upgrade my desktop to a newer desktop? I mean, I spent a hundred something dollars three years ago. I guess I could spend more, but I'm cheap and I'll just continue using this setup until, I mean, there's something that prevents me from doing stuff like 
I can still post YouTube videos through this desktop, so, and make YouTube videos on this desktop, so, in my opinion, I'm going to still keep this desktop. I spent, I spent a few weeks shopping around for a desktop, and I saw some deals for $300 or $400, but then I thought, like, why spend the money when I have a perfectly working desktop, so, not sure if other people who watch the video ha are in the same situation, like, they probably have like a five-year-old or eight-year-old desktop and wondering if they sh really need to upgrade. So if you're on Windows 10, I guess you can still use it for another three years. I'll revisit this next year or in two or three years when things might become obsolete software-wise.